here um, on behalf of her dad's company, which she's going to talk to you a little bit about, but just wanted to chat with her also about her music. She's a guitar player, yeah, and she lives here in Nashville. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I just moved here to Nashville from New York a couple of months ago, and um, obviously instead of playing guitar, I'm here as an ambassador for Adaday, and um, they sell wellness products, which normally um, you're trying to sell to athletes or to retail stores for, um, you know, kind of um, pre-workout wellness and then post-maintenance um, for your body, and uh, my father could come down here to visit when I had a, a couple of shows, some of my first shows in Nashville, and my bandmates went crazy for the stuff, and he kind of thought, like, you know what, um, music is an athletic sport, it really is, like, warming up your muscles, and, and, and um, a lot of people, I don't think, in the music community ever think of doing that, um, so I love the, the products, and I'm just, he kind of thought it would be perfect for me to, to talk about the stuff that I do as a musician and, and how I use those products and then break into the industry and in that kind of way. Well, you know, for some of the artists that I've interviewed in the past, they have talked about, you know, especially for females with the weight of the instrument. Oh, yeah. They have a lot <laughs> of shoulder problems. Yep. Um, I have another artist that, that I've worked with and she's done some product reviews and stuff. She's got a wrist, you know, has had a wrist injury. Yeah. So that's an issue too. So um, I haven't been by your booth yet, which I plan on doing because I'd love to see and learn more you about it. You will love it, I think. <laughs> and yeah, I actually saw a uh, better company last year at NAMM that had a special strap that supposedly had something to deal with taking the weight off with your, or maybe doing something that was extra padded or something. But yeah. But dealing with the issue of the yeah. weight of the guitars, and they were giving it towards females. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I guess it can be pretty heavy, you know. I think that a Les Paul is like eight or nine pounds, which it doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're playing in for, for a, a couple of hours or maybe like an hour right. or moving around, it really is, it, it can be taxing on your body. And yeah. they, they, they do, they have a lot of products that um, cover that sort of a thing. Like, I have a lot of shoulder pain when I play guitar, so... Um, it ends up being perfect for me. Well, good. Well, I'm going to go check it out for sure. Now, tell us about um, your background in music. Okay. So, I, um, I played in a band called Castle Creek for about six years, and um, we toured pretty extensively um, northeast and then into Japan, and um, we played in Ireland for some music festivals. We've done, um, I actually played um, the Winter Nam in Anaheim. Oh, you did? Yeah, out on the main stage, which was that was oh, pretty, pretty cool. What year was us? Oh my god, it was a couple years ago. Yeah, a couple years I was ago. probably there. But you you know, probably were there. As, as a media person trying to cover all the events, it's hard to try to get to every one of them. I know? haven't even been able to see oh. all of the booths here. So I can imagine <laughs> like what that would be like just trying oh. to like do. I, I yeah, have. so I started uh, playing guitar when I was 16 years old and um, when we went to NAMM in Anaheim, I got an endorsement by Red Rooster Guitars, which they're absolutely... I was playing uh, Telecaster primarily at that time, and I, I do have a Fender Telecaster as well, but um, the Red Rooster Guitars, they just cut really well. The, um, they, the pickups are great. Um, are they here? They're not represented uh, here right now. Um, I think that he represents when he's out in Anaheim. Um, he's based out in LA, and he, um, I mean, I played his guitars um, on the stage there. And I might. <laughs> he'll be like, "Oh, cool," you know. But I, but I love his guitars. It's like, well, good. Yeah. Awesome. So, um, yeah. Now, do you have any new, new music that you have out? I you am writing. Oh, I'm writing. Yeah, I'm writing. Making a record right now. Which big reason for coming to Nashville is like I just thought like-minded people, a lot of writers, and I'm into collaborating. I think it makes a lot of sense, like, some, what other people can bring to the table, um, ideas I wouldn't have, so. It's a, it's a nice uh, area to have, there's a lot of singer-songwriters and a lot of songwriting you know, outlets here, a lot of groups that do that, I've noticed. Um, Absolutely, yeah, and um, I'm just expanding my, you know, my, my musical knowledge. And what type of music, like your new album or new music you're putting out, what type? Um, it usually it'll start in like kind of a like a singer-songwriter vein, which is how I write. 
so I'll write on acoustic, but then I try to make it applicable to like a, a blues rock, like, um, and I, I love to play electric in full band, and right now I'm, I'm kind of trying to consider doing an acoustic thing, but with an electric guitar and a stripped down band and like a cajon player, I think that could be really cool. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and, and you know, it adds like a different dynamic. And, are you performing anywhere in Nashville, or is it pretty much just... Um, I performed at a place called The Local. It used to be The Country, and then we played over... Uh, when my band was in town in South, um, we have played over in the Commodore, um, the basement, so we been playing around town. It's been great. And then uh, we played at the uh, Nashville NAM actually, a couple years ago as well. So well, I'm glad you're here in Nashville. It's such a beautiful city, and everybody's been so you know, nice to be around and very. Um, it was very welcoming. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad I'm going to head over to your booth at a day, right? Yes, at a day. And then how can people find out about your music? Well, right now we're switching from CastleCreekBand.com to CamonRoeMusic.com, and uh, all my handles on Facebook and Twitter. All that is Kim and Ram music. You need to check that out. And I'll be putting a record out and hopefully touring uh, Northeast this fall. Oh, cool. Great. Can't wait to see it. Thank you.